everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I'm here today with a little journal flip through for you. This journal, I've just been kind of working on it in the background. And the theme for this one is just kind of like wise and little old animals, um, just gentle creatures. And I've had this idea for a long time, ever since I made this, this piece with this tortoise. Um, it's given me <laughs> fuel for the imagination for quite some time. And I've been just collecting and squirreling away um, children's books and things that I thought would create a nice journal with the sweetest little animals. And so um, <clears throat> this journal is inside the cover of an old book and it's this beautiful yellowy sort of chartreuse shade. And I've done some sanding on front and that's a thread and back and just to kind of age it a little more. Um, there is lace down both sides here and on the spine we have more lace and um, we have a little book plate here with a removable um, label inside and the closure is with um, this eyelet front and back and I've just used some nice vintage lace to um, tie it closed. This journal is um, eight and a half by five and a half. And the spine um, is an inch and a half. So let's go ahead and open it on up. Um, and we will take a look through this. <clears throat> So um, at the front and in both ends, I've used this beautiful purpley blue paper. It sort of matches like the when you open, you see this, you see this. I just wanted to kind of bring the whole spread together. And I love this color with this yellowy chartreuse. It matches the front here. And this is my own little Ex Libris label that I've added here. Um, so when you open the front page here, you can see that um, it's been uh, bound with fabric. It has a hidden binding. Um, and we have this peacock and this is actually sort of a belly band pocket. So behind the peacock, um, there is this um, nice space kind of almost space type um, paper, but it's purple with gold splotches. And we have a little goat looking up at our peacock. Then in the very back, we have this green gorilla with a garden gnome. <laughs> and that's a journaling tag and so that just pops in behind here then inside this part of the pocket we have a couple of things a little gecko and then just a little botanical journaling card and those just pop in here on this side we have a kangaroo and some cabbage dyed paper and a little you'll see little um very subtle little botanical stickers throughout here too. This is my purple dyed paper. Um, I've also done a technique throughout this book where I've used a children's book that if it's had text on it, then I have painted over it with some lovely matte paint so it can be written over. So here we have a little toad and a little otter and um, another of those botanical stickers. On this side we have a toad and a little beetle and another botanical sticker. And this is black walnut dyed paper and you can see some fun uh, printing on that one. And then we have this sweet chipmunk and here he is sleeping. This journal, by the way, is um, one, two, three, four, five signatures. So this is the center of the first signature. And on this side, we have a pocket with this lovely tortoise. So the tortoise is actually going to guide us through the whole journal. And this is actually a double pocket. So it's a tuck spot in behind for this journal card of this frog looking up a grate at a little girl and her braid is just hanging down the grate. Kind of like Rapunzel, maybe he's going to climb up her braid. And inside the pocket, we have this wise old owl looking down at the moon, and that's a journal card. Both are journal cards. Um, this is more black walnut dyed paper with that little botanical there. And we have a frog trying to catch a fly, another little botanical sticker, and a toad looking on at some a frog in the water, little botanical and some more purple dyed paper. 
This is um, cabbage dyed paper, and this is one of my journal cards that I made actually from a paper, um, almost like that's almost like a window blind. It was a roll up paper calendar actually from a Chinese food restaurant, but I really loved these koi fish. So I painted and I um, affixed it to some tea dyed paper and it's just being held there with a rusty paper clip. And then we have this beautiful goat and a belly band here with some nice botanicals and um, it's got fabric in behind. Um, and then we have a little fox here and then this is a journal tag um, and it says how the giants disappeared and it's just this little girl hanging out with this owl and there's some of my hand spun yarn and some threads here and avocado dyed paper on back. And this is just a nice wintry landscape and some avocado dyed paper. And these birds that are sort of pulling a, a plant or a feather from one another and we've again done some painting here and a whole bunch of birds and some cabbage dyed paper and a little beaver in this landscape this is some of my um, yellow and coffee dyed brown paper some of my blue dyed paper lots of dyed papers greens I've been dying a lot of paper. <laughs> um, and this is the center of the second signature. It's this beautiful lamb and all sorts of other animals all sort of hanging around. More dyed papers. And we have um, these pine cones and foliage and a fabric ribbon just um, down the side. And then we have here um, a double pocket. So we have this bunny and this bird. And inside the pocket, there is this um, laminated journal card that has a toadstool. And trapped inside the lamination are actually milkweed seeds. And that just pops on inside this tall pocket. And then tucked into the side, we have a journal card with a flamingo. And you can see some forest back there as well. Lots of little things going on inside this journal as, as always. And then we have this cluster here with this owl. This is one of the clusters that I made while blindfolded. <laughs> and um, this is some of my dyed paper. This is a journal tag that says stealing sweets for the hummingbird. And it's this little girl and these hummingbirds. And a whole plethora of birds flying along and some painting here. More birds. Avocado dyed paper. Some beautiful swans coming out of a pond onto the shoreline. And a little giraffe just popping his head looking through a window. And inside we have this little chipmunk who's maybe hiding some nuts in the leaves. A journal card. And that just pops on inside this pocket. And then this is kind of a watery background with fish and there's some fabric popping through here. And this is like kind of um, a double pocket and it has this fish image on the front with um, a face. I really love um, this, this image. I completely forget what shop it's from. It's a, it's a digital shop on Etsy. And inside here we have two mermaids that are kind of linking hands and it says the water folk are playing and inside we have these two little journal tags and so they just pop in there and then on this side the page folds out and we have this beautiful antelope running along and some avocado dyed paper with this little botanical sticker and then a full page pocket with this lovely gentle giraffe holding some flowers. There's some little gold leaves here and it says radiantly beautiful. And that pocket holds on to this and it says when the snow is on the ground and has these little birds and it's just a journal tag and it just pops up inside the pocket here. More avocado dyed paper and some geese flying over a field, black walnut dyed paper, a little botanical, and then um, just a little fish swimming along here, 
And on this side, we have a pocket with these. This is a vintage 1800s image of these two hens, well, a hen and a rooster, and some more kind of seaweed here. And then just this little bird that seems to be clucking about something, and that is a journal tag tucked in here. Cabbage dyed paper. And this cute children's book image of these little hippos swimming and a little bird there. And then there's some purple paper up here with a little tab. And then this is the center of the signature and it's this beautiful deer and little, little quails and mushrooms, ladybugs and a bunny and a spider and a spider's web, a butterfly and it's little pupa there for chrysalis. And on this side we have a hippo and some birds cabbage dyed paper and then uh, more of that beautiful children's fish book with these fish and the spiny and then over here it says heads up the pipe fish like to play and with the grasses drift and sway so these fish look exactly like blades of grass and more black walnut dyed paper avocado and then this fox running in the snow and then here again, we have our tortoise friend leading us toward the end of the book. And over here, he's over here just kind of being a wise tortoise. And all the other animals are here under the sunset. Um, then the final signature, I believe, no, nope, second last, I lied. <laughs> this is the fourth signature. And we start with this sort of um, tree with a dandelion and some fungi. And it's on black walnut dyed paper and we have a journal card with peacocks and that pops up in here and then this beautiful landscape of the mountains and our tortoise friend again and this is the antelope and it says the antelope is a runner swift and free who loves to leap and race with the wind it's just a large journal card cabbage dyed paper and another of those tiny botanicals, a landscape, and a couple of little beavers here in their dam, some green dyed paper, some coffee dyed paper, and this is the center of the signature, this beautiful moose, and a little botanical there, more dyed papers, and we have an otter and a duck in a canoe and a landscape, cabbage dyed paper. This is a pocket with a beautiful deer. And inside the pocket, we have this journal tag with this sweet little mouse. And this is a real leaf and some fabric there. So that's just a journal tag. And it just pops inside this pocket. It's like a coin envelope style pocket. And then in behind it, it's actually a tuck. And I just included this beautiful um, book page from Chipmunk at Hollow Lane, which is a Smithsonian children's book. It's just beautiful. So here he's, you know, eating some looks like leafy bits. And over here he's burrowing down under the ground. And I thought you could actually write on this page if you wanted to, or you could just treasure it and enjoy having it as an inspiration. Um, or you could hang it on your wall or whatever. There we go and a landscape and some more black walnut dyed paper, a little tiny botanical there. And then we have this cute little baby beaver and he's just holding on to a journal tag on some nice um, avocado and book page with acorns. Um, and then we have this um, journal tag inside. These are, I believe these are like coyotes. Dingoes. I'm sorry, they're dingoes. <laughs> and then this beautiful bullfrog here and a landscape. And then this says, and in the beauty of all the earth. And on this side, inside this sort of flip, it says, and old turtle smiled. And then we have this journal card with these iguanas and they're just like playing musical instruments. And on back, we have a tiny botanical and some lined paper. And then we have a whale on my blue dyed dotted paper and more of that children's book with the beautiful fish and some green dyed paper and a landscape 
cabbage dyed paper, this pocket with this beautiful bird and some fabric here. And then this journal card with these whales. It's on tea dyed paper. And then this is the center of the signature. So some wolves and some painting. And on the inside, more wolves. More dyed papers. Our little beaver looking out over the lake. And then this has been designed to make it very hard to find. So they're talking about the camouflage of fish, that how it's it's hard to find them. Sort of like that, that green grassy fish. And then more blue dyed paper and a tiny botanical. And there is our tortoise friend saying bye bye thanks for coming along. And then we have a duck sort of splashing here and um, a couple of sparrows um, in a landscape. And over here the sparrows continue and it's an upper tuck pocket. And inside we have this um, journal card with this otter and this painter turtle and it's on children's book page from the chipmunk book with lots of botanical kind of fall images. And then at the back we have this pocket with this beautiful bird and inside this tag that says the song of a bird. And also my little note from the journal maker is in there. So that is the end of this journal. And um, if you are interested in this journal and you're seeing this video, that means that it is posted up in my Etsy shop. So if you would like to give it a home, it will be there um, unless it has already been, been purchased. Um, so thank you for um, watching. You can find the link to my um, Etsy shop and my other social media down below in the description box. Um, thank you again. And if you haven't yet subscribed. I would love it if you did. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.